Hey guys, it's Keith here, and today I have an unboxing from Moyu. So, I first want to thank Moyu for choosing me as a tester for the Moyu 5x5. And since they were a little late on actually uh, shipping it, they decided to put in some other surprise, not really surprise, but some other puzzles for free. So I really appreciate it, and this is really well packed, so I'm actually going to cut. And then, in 3, 2, 1, that. Okay, so actually this is a lot more than I was expecting. What I was expecting was the, uh, the pyramids, which was, or first of all, I was expecting. Seems like I did not get the 5x5. Five five. Now let's actually take a look in this. Okay, what I was expecting was the 5x5, five five, the pyramids, the Weisu, and the Aolong V2. First I was expecting the Moyu 5x5, five five, the Aochuang. And then they said, sorry for the delay. And instead uh, we will throw in the pyramids along with the 5x5, five five, the Weisu, and an Aolong V2. Looks like there is a, a mini Aolong. Let's see, what's this? Oh no, this is, oh, they're throwing in the Guan Long. This is from Light, or not from Light Take, but I, I did order this from Light Take. The new YJ Guan Long. It's like $3 on Light Take. This is the Moi Aolong. Okay, this is the 5x5. Five five, but I'm only counting four. Am I? Am I like being blind instead of colorblind? One, two, three, four. This is re weird. Okay, this this should be the Moyu Ao Chuang. This should be the Moyu Ao Su. I was expecting the Weisu, the Moyu Skube, and the Pyramix. Let's just open up all of these quickly. All right, so I guess first I'll open up what is supposed to be the Moyu Ao Chuang Five Layers Magic Cube, but right now it does not seem like it. It's a 5x5. Five five. So, this is really weird. Moyu Ao Chuang should be the 5x5. Five five. Okay, so I just got on Skype with Dan. You guys probably don't know Dan. Dan, not crazy about Kira, but another Dan. And he said to check the Moyu Ao Su box because there was a 4x4 four four in the 5x5 five 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 box. There might be a 5x5 five five in the 4x4 four four box. So, let's hope for the best. And in here, okay, there is. That is very... Very weird. Thank you, Dan, for that suggestion. Probably would have figured that out eventually, but was not going to go into the Aosu next. But so there is the Moyu Ao Chuang in the Aosu box, and I'm assuming the Moyu Aosu or Weisu. They said Weisu, but there's an Aosu box. It feels like a Weisu. This is my Aosu. It feels a little more bubbly than my Aosu, so it kind of feels like a Weisu. Anyways, this I guess is a good cube. Pretty nice out of the box, just like any Moyu 4x4. That's really weird. I don't know how that mix-up happened, but I'll get on to this last. And then I'll also have a review along with it. I'm going to start putting together my unboxings and reviews. And the main puzzle of this is uh, the 5x5. Five five. I might unbox this at the end and review it in a separate video, or I might just open it in another video. But anyways, here's the Skube. I've already opened the Skube. And I believe I already have an unboxing of this cube, so... But now I have a black one. Before I only had a white one. Again, sorry for the terrible lighting, as I am in my dorm. And let's try and, like, move the light up. It turns really nice out of the box. Uh, then here, while you out long. Rip the box. Uh... I guess this is an Aolong V2. Yes, I know all of these still have the little plastic thing over the logo. And here is the YJ Guanlong, which I won't really be going over because I... Well, actually, yeah, sure, I'll just go over it a little bit. It's really cheap. It feels really light out of the box. Here are the colors. Let's try and get a good thing of it. Man, I really need to get, like, I need to move my desk a little bit to get light and do something to fix this. Anyways, really cheap. Doesn't seem cheaply made, but it it just it just happens to be really cheap. Being like two ninety five on light take. Corner cutting is fantastic. For a three dollar cube. That's really good. I highly recommend if anybody has like a Rubik's Cube Club and they want them cubes, get the Guanlong. 
but uh, I will have to solve this over the next day or two and then I'll have to get back to you guys on it but out of the box it feels really nice I'm probably gonna have to lube it maybe tension it a little bit anyways uh, I will get back to you on the Moyu Outwang alright so it's been a couple days now and I have uh, done a bunch of solves and I've done a few averages and I even broke a PB which isn't really saying much but ha it happened nonetheless I'm not really gonna say what it is because I know Alex is just gonna laugh at me in the comment section but uh, anyways, after a few days of playing with it, and tensioning it, and lubing it, I just kind of like stuck a syringe in there and put some lube in, and then uh, worked it in. Not sure if that's like the best way to do it, but still lubed it a little bit, I guess. But I tensioned it and made it a little bit looser, and it turns really well compared to the Shang Shao. And uh, first I just want to say that both of these experience lockups, but on the Shang Shao one that I have, it's the Modematics. It'll, it'll lock up a lot more. The corner cutting is not the greatest on this. On the, on the Moi Outwang, it's a little bit easier. This puzzle still does get lockups when you're doing corner cutting, which I'll go over in a second. But uh, there's a lot less lockups, I think, than my my Shang Shao. And I've not experienced any pops yet on this or the Shang Shao. I don't really solve five by five that much. So uh, there are standard Moi shades, and I. I hope the lighting's a little bit better. I'm using a lamp now. I still have to reposition the lamp, but it's definitely a lot better than earlier in the video. Uh, so as I said, I broke my PVB with it, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, when you're doing corner cutting, first, let's, let me show you corner cutting. You can lock up as you just saw there, but corner cutting is pretty good compared to this, which takes a little bit more force. Can't even do that. But in here, I could do that with ease. The reverse corner cutting isn't the greatest on this either, but definitely worse than on this. There's absolutely no reverse corner cutting at all. But on this, there's at least some. It can lock up, but still a little bit. But when you try and do the inner layers and you try and do a little bit more, then line to line, it will lock up like this and you can get some pretty nasty lockups. So it definitely does lock up. More you was not really able to fix that problem, but still the corner cutting is great. I'd say it's about like half a QB inside. And on the out, on the outer layers it's like line to line, maybe a tiny bit more. But the turning still is extremely smooth. It's a little bit quieter and it also is a tiny bit smaller. I believe the Shang Shao is 64 millimeters and the Moryu is 65, uh, 64. So it's a little bit smaller, you don't really notice it. But one thing you do notice is that the corners are not proportional to the edges. They're a little bit smaller if you can uh, notice. I know some people are annoyed by that. I know uh, my friend Chris and I think Shane are also annoyed by that. So uh, if you'd want the corners not to be smaller than the edges, then I don't recommend getting this, but it is a great 5x5 overall. As I said before, a lot of people, or the majority of the people that I talk to, really do enjoy this puzzle, and you can find it on the cubicle for thirty-three dollars. And I have a the cubicle, uh, I have a cubicle discount code in the description. I, I believe it's five percent off, so go ahead and use that. It's better than no percent off. So there is the unboxing and review of the Moryu Outwang. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are QMP. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.